dear students today we are going to discuss determination of transport number by moving boundary method in the last class we have discussed determination of transport number by hit of method and today we are going to discuss determination of transport number by moving boundary method on account of simplicity and accuracy moving boundary method is used for determining transport number measurements this method depends upon the direct observation of migration of ions in an electric field so now we will discuss the apparatus used in moving boundary method so this is the experimental setup for moving boundary method the apparatus consists of long vertical tube fitted with a platinum cathode at the top and cadmium anode at the bottom it is connected to a coulometer ammeter and resistance here this long vertical tube contains the electrolytes two electrolytes are there the upper part of the tube is filled with principal electrolyte whose transport number has to be determined so here we are using hcl as a principal electrolyte and cdcl2 as the indicator electrolyte the lower part of the tube is filled with indicator electrolyte this indicator in electrolyte enable the formation of boundary here this is the boundary between two electrolytes so a a dash is the boundary the indicator electrolyte must be of higher concentration than the principal electrolyte and it should have a common ion with the anion with the principal electrolyte so here hcl so this chlorine this chlorine should be there in the indicator electrolyte also so concentration should be higher than only the principal electrolyte will float above this indicator electrolyte and the indicator electrolyte cation mobility should be lower than the mobility of cation of principal electrolyte so here hcl h plus having more mobility than cd plus 2 then here cl common anion is there then the concentration of cd cl2 should be higher than the principal electrolyte and the Uh, indicator electrolyte which creates a boundary between these two electrolytes then it is connected to coulometer resistance and ammeter now we are passing a small current is made to flow through the conductivity cell then what will happen when current is passing cations will move towards the cathode and anions will move towards the anode so here h plus is a cation so cations h plus will move towards the cathode along with cd plus 2 cd plus 2 also will move along move towards the cathode and cl minus will move towards the anode so when the cd plus 2 also move towards the cathode the boundary will shift towards here so this is we can write it as b b dash so the boundary moves from a a dash to b b dash on passing electricity because of the movement of ions here cd cl2 having higher concentration so cd plus 2 and h plus also move towards the cathode so when cd plus 2 also move towards the cathode the boundary shift from a a dash to b b dash suppose we can write this distance the ions move from a a dash to b b dash is l and the area of cross section is a we can write distance travel from a a dash to b b dash is l and the area of cross section of the tube is a capital a so what happen here on passing electricity here two electrolytes are there one is hcl which is in the top of the tube and cd cl2 in the bottom of the tube so here cd cl2 is a indicator electrolyte and hcl is a principal electrolyte on passing electricity h plus move towards the cathode along with slow moving cd cl2 cd plus 2 also move towards the cathode and cl minus move towards the anode so the boundary shift from a a dash to b b dash suppose the distance traveled by the ions is l then the area of cross section of the tube is a then we can find out the volume what is the volume this distance into area that is volume now let us discuss the calculations let the distance traveled by the boundary is l cm area of cross section is a cm square then the volume of the electrolyte moved upward is distance into area so l into a a into l cm cube this is the volume now let concentration of the solution is c gram equivalent per liter that is like 0.1 molar 0.2 molar like that the concentration of the solution is 
C gram equivalent per liter. So when it is converted into milliliter, we can write C by thousand gram equivalent per milliliter. Then therefore the number of gram equivalent of H plus ions carry towards the cathode. So we can write, find out here number of equivalents of H plus move towards the cathode. So that is ACL by thousand. How we get this one using this equation? We know the formula for normality is normality equal to number of gram equivalents divided by volume. So here normality same concentration this is number of equivalent so what is the formula for number of equivalent normality into volume so here concentration is normality so concentration we know c by thousand gram equivalent per ml or c gram equivalent per liter then volume we already discuss here volume equal to a into l therefore Number of gram equivalent equal to concentration into volume. So C by 1000 into AL that is ACL by 1000. So here we got the number of gram equivalents of H plus move towards the cathode. Now we want to find out what is the current carried by this H plus ion. When it is moving what is the current carried. So we know each gram equivalent carries 1 Faraday of electricity. If 2 gram equivalents 2 Faraday. If 3 gram equivalents, 3 Faraday. So what is our gram equivalent here? ACL by 1000 gram equivalent carries how much current? ACL by 1000 Faradays. So ACL by 1000 Faradays is the electricity carried by H plus ions. We know the formula for finding transport number. What is the transport number? It is a fraction of current carried by each ion. So T plus means current carried by cation divided by total current. So we already find the current carried by H plus ion that is ACL by 1000 Faradays. Now what is the total current? How we can find out the total current? For that we have connected the Coulomb meter in the circuit. So total current measured by the Coulomb meter connected in the circuit let it is Q Faradays. Total electricity is Q Faradays and our current carried by cation is ACL by 1000 Faradays. Therefore, Th plus equal to current carried by cation is ACL by 1000 Faradays and total current is Q Faraday. So, Faraday's cancel. So, the answer for Th plus is ACL by 1000 Q. Then, TCL minus equal to we know T plus plus T minus equal to 1. Therefore, TCL minus equal to 1 minus ACL by 1000 Q. Dear students, now we will discuss one problem relating to that. Calculate the transport number of H plus and Cl minus from the following data. Obtained by moving boundary method using cadmium chloride as indicator electrolyte. We have to find out the transport number of T plus and T Cl minus. Given, what is given here? Concentration of HCl is 0.1 normal. Mass of silver deposited in the coulometer is 0.1209 gram movement of boundary that is L equal to 7.5 area of cross section A equal to 1.27 centimeter square now we have to find out T H plus and T C L minus yeah. dear students just pause the video and try to do the problem using this equation Solution for TH plus equal to A C L by 1000 Q we know C is given a is given, L is given. So we can find out here ACL by 1000 Q. But Q is not given. For Q, what is given? Mass of silver deposited in the coulometer is given. So if you know the mass, how you can find out Q? Q equal to, we already know total quantity of electricity past this number of gram equivalents into Faraday's. So number of gram equivalent you can find it as mass divided by relative atomic mass Faraday's or you can write here F 96,500. If you write here 96,500 you have to write here also 96,500. So Q equal to NF so mass divided by relative atomic mass into Faraday's. That is we can calculate as mass is 0 0.1209 divided by relative atomic mass. Equivalent weight of silver is 108. So RIM is 108 into Faraday's. You can write like this. 
instead of 96500 we can write here faradays because numerator and denominator also faradays are there so that will be cancelled so 0 0.1209 divided by 108 faradays so this is the answer 0 0.0011 faradays is the value of q now we can substitute the values in th plus th plus equal to acl by 1000 q faradays in both places so a 7.5 into 0.1 into 1.24 divided by 1000 into this is a value of q 0 0.0011 in both numerator and denominator faraday so these both will be cancelled so the answer for th plus is 0 0.8455 then tcl minus equal to 1 minus th plus so 1 minus 0 0.8 455 is 0 0.1545. So dear student, hop transport number determination by moving boundary method is clear. Please like and subscribe for more videos and thank you for watching.